Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. It's great to have you here. Today, we're diving into a topic that's shaking up the game dev industry as we know it. If you've been dreaming about a career in game development or you're already in the field, well, it's time to think twice. AI is taking over game dev in 2025 and the changes are coming faster than anyone expected. Let's break it down. It all started way back in 1993 with Doom, the legendary game that revolutionized gaming itself. Fast forward to now, and history is kind of repeating itself, except this time is now it's not just a game, it's AI. Earlier this year, AI Doom hit the headlines when researchers trained AI agents to play Doom. At first it sounded revolutionary, but the backlash came just as fast. Critics argued it wasn't a real game, it was just trained on footage. It lacked memory. Turn around and the level basically rebuilds itself like it forgot where you were five seconds ago. Impressive? Sure. But game changing? Not quite. Then came AI Minecraft, and this wasn't just research, it was playable. People could explore, craft and mine in a world generated entirely by AI. But again, the old school developers weren't impressed. They said it wasn't really game development. It was just an AI trained on endless Minecraft videos. And yep, same memory problem. It couldn't truly remember what you built or where you'd been. Still, you could feel something big brewing under the surface. And then Google DeepMind dropped Genie 2. This is where everything changed. AI can now generate fully unique worlds, not just from training footage, but from a single image. Just type in a description or upload a picture and boom, a new world to explore. You can even navigate these worlds using a keyboard and guess what? It remembers, build something, interact with NPCs or alter the environment. And it doesn't just reset when you leave. This is no longer just a prototype. It's starting to feel like a real game. And yeah, it's not perfect, but that's the scary part. It's only gonna get better. Now, let's talk about World Labs. Founded by AI pioneer Fei Fei Li, this startup has developed an AI system that can generate interactive 3D scenes from a single photo. You upload an image and it creates a navigable 3D environment. Sounds like the future, right? But here's the catch. While these scenes are explorable, your movement is limited to a small area. Try to venture further and you'll hit invisible barriers. Plus, there are occasional rendering glitches where objects don't quite mesh correctly. So while it has memory, it's still pretty limited in how far you can go in the scene. But don't be fooled, this is just the beginning. As the technology improves, these limitations will shrink and the potential applications will explode. The critics, oh, they're still here. They say these AI generated worlds lack depth or creativity. But remember, this is the worst it'll ever be. Every month, every year, it's only, only improving. In, in 2025, ignoring AI in game dev is like trying to ignore the internet in the early 2000s. It's career suicide. And that's not even the half of it. Now think about 3D assets. Tools like Meshi are already letting creators generate realistic game-ready models in minutes. No more hiring artists or waiting weeks for assets. No more spending hundreds or thousands of dollars. It's all instant, on the fly. A few clicks and your game world is populated with trees, buildings, characters, you name it. AI isn't just a tool anymore. It's becoming the engine of the industry. So here's the harsh reality. If you're a game dev and you're not integrating AI into your workflow, you're already behind. It's not just about keeping up anymore. It's about survival. That's it for today, guys. Let me know in the comments what you think. Is AI the future of game dev or is there still room for the traditional methods? Either way, buckle up. 2025 is going to be a wild ride. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit the bell. See you in the next one.